Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be baking some banana bread. Woo! <laughs> okay, go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be baking banana bread together, which I'm really excited because I love banana bread. I am going to be doing the Joanna Gaines banana bread. It's like the after school banana bread recipe. So I've made this I think two times before. So I'm pretty familiar with the recipe, but I thought I would share it with you guys. And I haven't done a cooking or baking video on my channel in like months actually, which is really sad because that's like one of my favorite things to do. So I'm bringing you this recipe today. So hopefully you guys will like it and I hope that you will stick around and subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday and make sure to go follow me over on my Instagram. I post a lot on there. I'm super interactive with you guys. So let's go ahead and get into this recipe. This is my little setup over here. My Joanna Gaines cookbook is back there, which I will be using to follow my recipe. If you're curious, my little cookbook stand is from Amazon. And here are my ingredients. I'm not gonna tell you exact measurements in the video because again, I'm gonna leave the recipe down below, but you are going to need bananas. The recipe actually calls for four to five, but I think I'll be okay with these three because they're pretty big. And then it calls for um, pecans, but I'm gonna use walnuts. And I have some cooking spray for the pan, butter, eggs, vanilla, baking soda, some sea salt, some light brown sugar, and then this is my flour jar. I got this from Home Goods. And then I'm using this little cute sunflower little dish for my banana bread. I'm also going to be using my KitchenAid mixing bowls. These are from Kohl's, I believe. And I'm gonna be using these to mix the wet and the dry ingredients. And then disregard this disgusting bag. I like got a bunch of stuff on it one time when I was using it, but this is my hand mixer, which you will see me use in a moment. But I like using this instead of my KitchenAid mixer most of the time because that's super heavy to get out. Um, and this works just the same, so I will be using my hand mixer today. Okay, so to get this recipe started, I have my hand mixer ready, and I've got my big mixing bowl right here. So I'm going to just follow the recipe, and I'll tell you guys what I'm doing as I go. But the first thing is to mix together the butter, the eggs, the vanilla, the brown sugar, and then once those are mixed together, you add in the bananas. So I'm using a stick of butter, which I actually had froze, but um, I thawed it out. And if you didn't know that you can freeze butter, which is really nice, like sticks of butter. And then I'm cracking my two eggs. And then I'm using one cup of packed brown sugar, which if you're not sure what that means, it means like when brown sugar is, um, if you kind of just like drop it in there, it can be loose, but you want to pack it down and make sure that you have a full cup. So you can also cut this recipe in half, which I've done before, but today I had enough of the ingredients, so I'm just going to make the whole thing. And then I'm using one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. So I'm just gonna take my um, hand mixer and I'm just gonna turn on the lowest setting and just mix all of this together. Okay, so I just finished mixing that. That's what it looks like. It says until it's well blended, so that's what I did. And then the next step is to add the bananas. So as you can see, my bananas are severely ripe. And I actually was gonna, like, look, they're literally falling off of the stems, okay. I was gonna toss these bananas out because I have so many bananas frozen for smoothies that I was like, I'm just gonna toss these. But then I had the bright idea to make some banana bread, which I haven't made in a while. Let me know what your favorite thing to bake down below is because I think banana bread's probably my favorite because my grandma used to make this all the time when I was little and I just love banana bread. So I'm adding these bananas and then we are going to mix it all together. Thank you. 
Okay, so now my bananas are in there. So next we're gonna move on to the dry ingredients. So I have a little bit of a smaller bowl with me and I'm going to be adding all the dry ingredients. So I have one cup of flour and I need one and three fourths cups. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. My cup does have measurements on it, but that's pretty good. So one and three fourths cup flour. And then I need one teaspoon of baking soda, which is what I have here. And the recipe calls for half a teaspoon of salt. Um, I have sea salt here. It calls for kosher salt, but I've always used sea salt and it's fine. And I don't like to measure this out. I just like to add it however I think is best. So I'm just going to grind this a few times and that's good. Never had any issues with that. Sometimes I eyeball things because I have cooked and baked quite a bit. So I don't measure quite everything, but you can totally measure it if you want, if you have like a tub or like a container of salt. But since mine is a grinder, I just kind of grind it until I feel like it's right. So I'm going to mix this all together and then I am going to combine it with the wet ingredients. So now I've got my wet ingredients right here and I am just going to pour the dry ingredients into the bowl. It's important that you don't mix the wet and the dry ingredients at the same time. You wanna do them separately and then mix them together. I'm not really sure the science behind that, but I know that it's important. So now I'm going to go ahead and mix this all together with my hand mixer. The last step to mixing of the ingredients is to add the nuts. So my grandma always used walnuts, I think. I'm pretty sure she always used walnuts when she made it when I was little. So that's what I have on hand. I don't have any pecans, so I'm gonna use walnuts. And it calls for half a cup. So this is a fourth cup measurement, so I'm just gonna put two of these. And these are already pre-chopped. I got these at Walmart. So I'm gonna add two scoops of that. And then I'm just gonna mix that together for just a few seconds one last time. Okay, so now all of it is mixed together. This is kind of, <laughs> let's not pour it out on the counter, okay? This is what it kind of looks like. It's a little bit lumpy in there, but that's kind of what you want. And I forgot to mention that you can totally mash the bananas before you put them in there to mix. In fact, that's what the recipe says to do, but mine were so soft anyway that I just put them in there and mixed it and it was fine. So now we're gonna go ahead and put this in the dish. Hopefully you can see me. I am using my olive oil spray. You can use like baking spray, you can use butter, whatever you want, but this is just what I have. So I'm just going to be spraying the whole inside of this pan. And it calls for an eight by eight pan, but you can use kind of whatever size you want. This is, I'm guessing about an eight by eight. And if it's a little bit um, smaller, you just want to cook it for a little bit longer. And if it's a little bit of a larger pan, you cook it for less time because it doesn't take as long for it to cook all the way through. So I'm using about this size and then I'm going to go ahead and pour this batter into the pan. And then the last step, which sometimes I skip and sometimes I don't, is to take sugar and kind of sprinkle it along the top. So what I have is like some kind of organic, kind of like maybe, I think it might be coconut sugar. I'm not really sure, but that's what I have in here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle it. She likes to cover the whole top of it. I don't like to use too much, but I'm just going to sprinkle this all over the top of the bread. So this is what the banana bread looks like in the pan. I sprinkled that sugar right on top and it fits perfectly in there. I already have my oven preheated to 350 and I'm going to bake it for 45 to 50 minutes. That is what the recipe says and I'll check it after the 50 minutes and then go from there. But let's go ahead and put this in the oven.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. If you tried this recipe, make sure to tag me in it on Instagram. And like I said, I will leave this recipe below in the description box. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.